I'm Joe Neely from JoeNeely.net, and this is The Joe Neely Show. This is the fifth episode and the first segment of that episode. <laughs> so, here we are. We're going to start out hot. We're going to talk about sex. I was reading an article today about how more and more young people, um, 18 to 24 aged college or out in the job market kind of people, young people are hooking up, not getting into relationships. Not just marriage relationships, but, you know, boyfriend-girlfriend kind of relationships. Or girlfriend-girlfriend, boyfriend-boyfriend relationships. A lot of people are waiting to do that until after they get their career, their education, all that stuff stable. And so there's an increasing rise in the hookup culture, which I think is great. The idea of being married to one person that you choose or have chosen for you at a very young age is pretty restrictive. It works for some people, don't get me wrong, but it's not for everybody. So to have a window of time when people are, you know, out on their own, independent, is great. It gives people a chance to really figure out who they are sexually, who they like sexually, the types of relationships they want to have. It gives people time to experiment before they lock into something. Not that the idea of locking in <laughs> at a later age is necessary or that it's healthy, but at least people are taking longer before they make such a huge decision. The problem for me is intimacy. People can have sexual intimacy, physical intimacy, great, please do. The trick is have it with the intimacy that I teach. Have it with mental intimacy. Have it with that thing that makes it worth doing. I've had one night stands that were boring. Just the time it took to have them felt like time wasted because they were so boring. Other times, I've had long, long relationships that ended up boring and a waste of time. It's not about the duration of the relationship. It's about how it feels, how excited you are just to be with the person. Um, whether or not you're hooking up or you're dating for a little while or you're going to be together for a few years or a lifetime, that doesn't matter. You choose whether you want to have short, long relationships, whatever. But if you have hookups to satisfy your physical needs without any satisfaction of your emotional needs, your need for emotional bonding and all that, you know, maybe you can have that with close friends and you can put off the emotional bonds of marriage and family, but what do you do about mental intimacy? What do you do about that spark that you feel, that just wanting to be around the other person, the excitement that comes from knowing you're going to be alone together? I'm not saying don't hook up. I'm saying hook up with those kinds of people. Find people who excite you, and if you want to have a short-term hookup, great. Do that. And then let them know, you know, be respectful. Let them know that you're not in it for the long haul, but you do want to have something that matters. You know, a lot of people complain about meaningless Tinder hookups. That doesn't mean Tinder hookups are bad. It means have meaningful Tinder hookups. Think about it. Maybe you're traveling and you're in another city and you're at an airport or something, and you have this great conversation with a person. When I'm traveling, I talk with lots of people, you know, in random occasions, random places, and I'm probably never going to see them again. Think about that. You're sitting in the airport, and you might share something about your life with a complete stranger because you know you're not going to meet him again. Bring that same energy to your hookups of, I can share with this person who I really am, and not just what I like in bed, but what I really think about life, because if they don't like it, who cares? They're you know, probably not going to be around for very long. So bring true honesty and mental intimacy to your hookups. Don't stop doing them. Just make them meaningful, not meaningless. So 
There's my three cents on the matter, and I'll see you in segment two.